Justice League Spectacular Fun and Games. Okay, now this is technically the fifth saga. And um, I haven't really quite mapped out the concept for the third and fourth sagas yet. But I'll, I'll get this out there now anyway. This is... I've only got three pages, so it'll take a little bit. Um, I'll spread out what I've got from the fifth saga. Fifteen years ago, the financiers started terraforming planet TOI-849B, the nurse classification naming of the planet, said Maxwell Lord. They like warm weather. Heat indexes on a lot of things are important to them. And while the planet is normally far too hot for any race to live on, for the most part, atmospheric cooling agents have solved their problems. These days it's catching on. They call it Kildara, the traditional name of a planet from the founding financiers' homeworld. And it's a flourishing galactic civilization. There's business there. Lots of business. Intergalactic trade on a large scale. There's a particular company, Galaxy Communications. Telecommunications devices is a specialty, but also screen programming, what we call television. It's a massive galaxy network of cultural products. Movies, cartoons, magazines, comic books, action figures, trading cards, theme parks as well. The whole kit and caboodle. Now, the founder of Galaxy Commun Communications is Chang T. Sort of looks like a blue-skinned oriental. And in recent weeks, he's acquired a growing number of amusement parks. The problem is, he plays a, pays a high price, but doesn't really take no for an answer. And his methods can be quite persuasive. We think he'll soon target Earth. At the moment, his main men are on Angor, which is still in a state of rebuilding society after their global nuclear war. Justice League Spectacular's mission is to travel to Angor, meet up with the champions of Angor to assess any hostile takeovers and make an official report. Watchtower has charged Team Spectacular with this particular mission, so get to it. And remember, Punchline, you've completed four missions so far. Complete this one, more freedom, and another five years of your prison time. Punchline grinned. Should be amusing, Max. Or funny, said Max. Said Arsenal, as for Justice League Spectacular, were part of the conference room. Galaxy Communications has an intergalactic free radical head honcho, mogul tycoon, leading company called Chang T. Chang T has a strong sense of humour and dry sarcasm, and loves to grind through business to make his name in the galaxy. He probably originates from the same race as the Green Lantern Jack T. Chance. Chang T is not based on the idea of being ruthless in business as a modus operandi. He simply rose through the ranks in a competitive world and along the way made more than one shady business decision to get the job done. He doesn't use crime, but he does use sleaze, appeal, and intimidatory practices to get results. On Angor, Galaxy Communications is attempting a takeover of Mitch Wacky's Wacky World. Recently, Mitch Wacky, who had connections with the original extremists, and the nuclear meltdown decimated Angor, claimed the bodies of the extremists, putting them into healing chambers, which would need a long time to store them, apart from Dream Slayer, who was separately held. And he has seen the healing chambers reach their countdown with the return of the original extremists just recently. The Justice League originally battled the extremists, but only Android versions, which Mitch Wacky's electronic systems had created, 
and Mitsuaki had been called in to turn them off. They ended up in a wax museum in Paris. I think it was Paris or London or something. So now the original extremists have been resuscitated and have been working at Wacky World incognito for a while, causing a few problems for the champions of anger for a while, but mostly getting on with their job. Chang Ti's henchmen try to get heavy with Mitch Wacky, but the extremists give him rough treatment. A report filters back to Chang Ti and Gara, who decides to come see what the fuss, the fuss is all about. Also bothered by the Justice League Spectacular showing up on Angor and monitoring his organization's activities in the current hostile takeover endeavors. It all heats up when the Justice League Spectacular, the champions of Angor, and the extremists come out of hiding and Shang Ti and his muscle all bang into each other in the central square of Wacky World. This could be trouble says Blue Beetle. No kidding, replies Booster Gold. Now, just a, I'll, I'll put this note in. The Fist Saga is set in future state activity timing of 2028. In Champions of Angor 2028, after the Fist Saga, the extremists go on to cause problems for the Champions of Angor after that time. So Champions of Angor is, itself normally has a sequel in 2026, and then again in 2028, if they're running and then future state activity to what would be going on. Now, one final thing is that the extremists, the sociopaths, but in their time working in Wacky World for Mitch Wacky, just doing that for the time being, Lord Havoc and probably Gorgon or whatever it is, and um, I can't remember the other name, the other fellow's names, I saw them yesterday the other day. They'd sort of seen a bit of society for a bit and working with, working in the theme park, amusement park, and they'd got to know the sort of, just from seeing that society was an okay enough thing in Lord Abbott's thing. They didn't really mind the world somewhat, some aspects of it. And they were no longer really hell-bent on destroying Angor through nuclear meltdown. And uh, what they'd learned from some studies on the Injustice League, which had fun with um, things and uh, with Justice League Spectacular, that seemed perhaps more of the avenue of the way of, of the way to go. Copying the Injustice League somewhat and becoming iconic and getting power and money and things like that. So it sort of switched from sociopaths trying to destroy Angor more to Maybe the Injustice League thing, in the Justice League spectacular storyline, maybe that's more the way to go, is sort of the conclusions of Lord Havoc, I guess. So after that, after the, after the battle of big sort of meltdown, they go on to cause chaos and sort of work out how to be glory. 